that's your final and production. I know Zoe's not pure because I'll tell you because why? Because she is cutting nails. Because her nails was like boom. That, like this is the nail and this is the nail. <laughs> this is the hand like a pointy and this is the nail. So today I am going to. Sing you a song? Why not a song? Hmm. I know. I could give you a book called Goody Locks. Okay? Once upon a time, there were three bears Teddy Bear, Mommy Bear, and Baby Bear. Every morning, the three bears all ate a, all ate a bowl of delicious porridge of breakfast. One morning, the, the, these three bears went for a walk in the forest to let their hot hearts cool down. Meanwhile, a girl called Goody Locks was playing in the forest. As she passed by the three bears' cottage, Goody Locks, Goody Locks smelled something delicious coming from inside. Goody Lux was hungry. I'm so hungry, I want to eat porridge, but where should I get food? So she peeked hmm. <gasps> through the window and saw three bowls of porridge that she wanted. Three porridge of bowls on the table. Mmm, that porridge looks very tasty, she said, and creeped into the cottage. <gasps> she went inside. First, Goody Lux took a spoonful of porridge from the largest bowl. Ouch! She squeaked. This porridge is way too hot. Next, Goody Lux took a spoonful from the medium bowl. Next, Goody Lux took a spoonful from the medium-sized bowl of porridge. Yikes! Yuck! She said, this part is way too cold. Finally, Goody Lux took a spoonful from the smallest bowl of porridge. Mmm, this part is just right! So Goody Lux ate all of the porridge and even licked the bowl clean. She began to explore the rest of the room. And then she began to explore the rest of the cottage and the room. First, she wandered into the living room. She saw three chairs. So, this is the chair, one chair, second chair, first chair, second chair, third chair, and the fire. I don't know why you guys wonder this, this because actually you can connect to this book. And then Goody Lux will come to life in a book. She's going to stand on it. Goody Lux sat down on the largest chair. Ouch! This chair! Ouch! This chair is much too hard. She grumped. She grumped. Goody Lux then, Goody Lux then sat on the medium-sized chair. Oh dear me! This chair is much too soft. Ouch! Goody Lux tried to pull the chair back together again, but it was 
but it was well and truly broken. So she quickly left the living room and went upstairs. Goodilocks yawned. In the bedroom, Goodilocks found three beds. She let out a huge yawn. <sighs> it had been a busy day and she was tired. Goodilocks decided to try the biggest bed. Ouch! This bed is much too hard, she complained. Next, she tried the medium-sized bed. Oh dear, oh dear me, this bed is much too soft, she said. Finally, Goodilocks tried the smallest bed. This bed is perfect, she signed. As she snuggled down the covers and she fell asleep fast. And you continue. A little while later, the three bears arrived home from their walk. Oh! Oh, goody loves them. Woke up. There's something that happened. They were glad to be home again and were looking forward to their breakfast. Who's been, th who's been eating my porridge? Growled Daddy Bear. Who's been eating my porridge? Said Mama Bear. Says Mommy Bear. And who's been eating my porridge? It's all gone, cried Baby Bear. The tree puzzled. The tree puzzled. Hungry Bears went into the living room to sit down. Who's been sitting in my chair? Growled Daddy Bear. Who's been sitting in my chair? cried Mommy Bear. And who has been sitting in my chair? It's broken down, sobbed Baby Bear. The tree bears were very upset that someone had been in the house. So they went upstairs to look around. <gasps> Who's been sleeping in my bed? growled Daddy Bear. <laughs> Who's been sleeping in my bed? growled Daddy Bear. Who's been sleeping in my bed? gasped Mommy Bear. And who's been sleeping in my bed? And who's been sleeping in my bed? And it's still there, whispered Baby Bear. Just then, Goody Lux woke up and saw the tree bear standing over her. She screamed loudly ah! and lifted up out a uh, and lift and lift out of bed and ran as fast as she could all the way home. <laughs> I don't, I don't think she'll go into someone's house without being invited ever again. Ah. <laughs> Laughed Daddy Bear. Now let's make some more porridge," said Baby Bear. I hope you like this book because this is the best book I ever ever heard. And please buy this. And this is let's get started. Download the free Hippo Magic app. So the Hippo Magic app it's actually free. So you know you can just buy the the Hippo app. After you buy the Hippo app you can connect to the book. And that's why we have And that's why we have this. Without this, we can't connect to the book because we need to scan and Goody Lux will pop out anywhere she wants. On the page that we're going to do, and she's going to ask this question, we're going to do it like. I've tried this before. So, in the living room, she asked us to, um, she asked us, to arrange and find the things. And then, in this page, she asks us to color the bits in any color they want to be. 
and Goody Lux is an actually a very cute person with a very pretty hair. So, I've been thinking maybe we can just do a little bit of songs. Let's start. And you know what this is called? Cheezos! Jesus is the best all.